Hi, and welcome to our demonstration of the blue tidal enzyme treatment. In doing this treatment, the first thing that you want to discuss with the patient is first of all the indications, why you're doing it, and what the patient can expect. As far as indications are concerned, it's important to stress that this contains two different enzymes, both papaya and pineapple. And what these do are they accelerate the skin's own exfoliation process. So this is going to be truly a way to enhance the healthiness of the skin's exfoliative process. It also contains a brown algae extract that is a tremendous skin hydrator and rejuvenator. And last of all, there's an antioxidant in this treatment, which is from parsley extract, which is a very strong antioxidant. As far as why we would be doing this, what we really want to stress to you is that this is a very safe, very neutral treatment. So this is not at all an acidic treatment. It has a neutral pH, and this is going to be very safe for people with sensitive skin, for people with rosacea. Possibly you will use this in someone who's had a recent deeper peel, whether it's a rejuva peel, a TCA peel, and they now want to do some kind of a maintenance treatment. On the other end, you'll also use this not just for people who really need something that's very mild, but also for some patients who come to you with extreme cases, like an extreme case of hyperpigmentation. Oftentimes, this is a wonderful treatment to use for hyperpigmentation. And we're going to show you one such case before and after six of the blue tidal enzyme treatments. So on screen, you see a patient of ours who came in after she had had a three-year history of the hyperpigmentation, as you see in her before photo. This uh, she presented after having had a series of six IPL treatments. She had laser treatment for this. She had had 35% TCA, and she presented with very recalcitrant hyperpigmentation. The after photo is after a series of six of the blue tidal enzyme peels, and you can see that she really got very impressive results. What you then, in speaking with your patient at the initial consultation, we do like you to mention to the patient why you're doing it. You believe that you're going to be able to rejuvenate their skin. You're going to be able to speed up and normalize their exfoliation process, which is going to make all of their regimen just work that much better at home. And in cases of hyperpigmentation, you're doing it because so much hyperpigmentation really represents post-inflammatory from possibly some either aggressive at-home treatment or even aggressive in-office treatment. So you're now stepping back to the blue tidal enzyme, which is the least aggressive treatment to offer. You also want to explain to the patient that they're going to be seeing very good visible improvement typically after three of these. They may not uh, see in the mirror a dramatic improvement after the first, although as you'll see, we do recommend that you show them the mirror right after they've had it done. But this is meant to be done in a series. Typically, they should be spaced one to two weeks apart, and you really would like the person to sort of buy into the series of six treatments. So our patient who we're going to be demonstrating on actually has very beautiful skin. Thank you. But we, thank you, but we just had a consultation. She had been out of town for a little bit, probably started to use her products a little bit less, couldn't travel with all of the products. So her main complaint is that she gets some clogged pores and some breakouts. Her skin gets flaky at times. And this is a perfect person. She lives in South Florida. It's just perfect to perform the blue tidal enzyme peel on her so that even if she would like to be outdoors, she can go right ahead and be outdoors even having had this treatment because it's not a photosensitizer. Do remember that when you receive each bottle of your blue enzyme uh, treatment, your blue title, that with the bottle you get the protocol. So we're going to pretty much be following this. And basically, I like to put the headband on. These are available through Cosmetical. The next thing is that we're going to prep. And in this case, we're just going to prep with some of the lavender creamy cleanser. We haven't done any previous peels on this patient. 
And so we're going to wipe down her face. Now it's noon time, and uh, we are sometimes finding that there's already a good amount of debris on people's faces by noon time. But let us see, in this case, So the lavender creamy I also love to use because it's a totally sulfate free way to cleanse the face. And I think that you can see on the pad that actually we really want to compliment her. There is just no debris whatsoever. I'm gonna ask you to just make believe that you're sort of mm -hmm. biting your lips if you don't mind for a moment, mm -hmm. thank you, because we wanna be sure to cleanse everywhere. Okay, now in this particular case, we've never done a peel on her, I would not even opt to use the toner. I'm going to go right from the cleansing stage. So I'm gonna wipe off our lavender cleanser. And you know that this is a tissue off kind of product. And then we're going to go right to taking our uh, fan brush. You can use a gauze, whatever uh, is comfortable for you. I do love to put, uh, as we say in the protocol, put a quarter size amount of the blue title into. I like to use these little glass ramekins. Uh, some people will use metal bowls, wh whatever you know you like. And always we're going to ask you to keep your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. And as we're doing this, we're going to start to apply on the forehead. And I am seeing that there's a little bit of clogged pores. And I am hoping and I do believe that we're going to get uh, really some resolution of these with this treatment. So we're going to come first from forehead don't forget that glabellar area. And by the way, we're sort of trying to really demystify this. And really what I'd like you to do is always remind your patient, this is really a lunchtime kind of peel. I'm going to ask you, how does it feel? Do you feel any sensation at all? Uh, just a cool gel being applied at this point. Great, so just a cool gel. Do you feel any kind of a effect? Can you smell anything? I or? smell, it smells fruity. It smells very pleasant, light. Yes, it um, is a it. really sort of a yummy experience for a mm -hmm. lot of patients with the pineapple and papaya. And so we've applied it. Now, I will uh, tell you that we had some initial cases where people were steaming and we had originally written on the protocol that you could steam. Uh, we're going to ask you not to steam. Steaming really does greatly enhance absorption. And you can enhance the absorption of this product up to a good 10 to 15 fold. And we really never want you to be uh, getting that much more absorption of a product that's meant to be a wash off. I happen to use my iPhone as my timer, and so we're going to leave this product on, the Blue Tidal Enzyme, the first time for a total of three minutes, and that's sort of counting for when we stopped applying the peel. Uh, typically, it just it, it's a feel-good yeah. kind of product, it right? It really is, it's just very light. Yes, now, uh, in the case of our younger patient here, we uh, really sort of didn't, we reviewed with her beforehand that she has a little bit of clogged pores and that she sort of wanted that rev up so that her at-home products will be working better because we're speeding up her own exfoliation process. We're gonna remove some of these dead cells, mm -hmm. Jahira, so that when you apply your products tonight, which by the way, you can go right ahead and Beautiful. apply your products, and before you leave, we're going to go over your regimen mm -hmm. with you. Perfect. But uh, you can apply these products, and they're going to actually get in just that much better because we're actually very naturally removing some of the dead cell buildup that's acted sort of as a barrier to the penetration of your at-home products. Awesome. I will tell you that when we have patients who are even just a slight bit older, women who are even into their 30s, I oftentimes will remark to them, that they may feel some tightening around their eyes from this product. Uh, really, Jahira has very good skin yeah. around her eyes. I will mention to you, though, that you don't have to worry that you can put this to the malar eminence. And just to sort of show you here, she does have some of the blue. I think that you can see the product is right to here. If she were a woman who had a little more of a feeling of bagginess, you can definitely, and puffiness, you can apply this product 
right uh, sort of over that malar eminence in the area where possibly the person is complaining of some under eye puffiness. So it has now been the full three minutes. Just one little practical tip is that when you wash off, make sure that you've always got that fresh bowl of water. So now we're gonna be washing this off, and this is a very easy wash off, because what happens is that as we're washing off with our four by four, we see the product coming off right here with the blue, so that we know when our wash off is complete will be when we no longer have any blue coming off. Uh, do remember, as with every treatment that you have from Cosmetical, more is not better, so you don't have to be applying more. You know, and sometimes I think that's where we do get reports back, gee whiz, you know, I put on a lot and I feel that I can't get the blue off. The end point will just be when there is no more blue. And then what I like to do with each and every one of our peels, except for the Rejuva peel where you don't wash it off, is I do like to use the vitamin C spray, just as it's written on the uh, protocol. So I can see that we barely have, uh, we have though, in, in this area where I put a little more, we do again have the blue, otherwise we had really no blue left on the wash off. So where we put on the second layer, we do have the blue. I will tell you with my magnifiers on, that her pores are actually ready. She had a little more clog pores here and I'm already seeing some improvement in that. Although we always suggest to you to please under promise and over deliver with each of these peels, especially the first one. So we're going to go one more round just to ensure that there's no blue left. So that we know that we have the total wash off. And now, as our, and so we don't see any blue left on the pad now. And now, to be doubly sure, we're going to take our Vita C spray. And I always like to let patients know you're going to feel a little bit like you're at the beach because we're going to just spritz this on you. And that's just a way of sort of getting that final um, hydration step. Again, what we're doing here is a vitamin C and peptide spray. So we're adding some nutrients to your skin. And now we'll put on a coat of our VitaSoothe, which is an antioxidant serum that's really going to sort of be protecting your skin throughout the day. And last but not least, we're going to put on some of our replenishing sunscreen. Once we're done, I do highly recommend that you show the patient in the mirror because I can see that your skin is looking very, very nice. I've been very generous with the amount of the replenishing mm -hmm. that I took. And again, we have this tinted so that uh, you really know where you've applied it. I find that, as a dermatologist, I find that very, very helpful. Because oftentimes, sunscreens of all kinds don't work that well because we've missed an area. <laughs> and you'd only find out, you know, the next day, if you've been at the beach, when you come home and uh, next day you, you wake up the next morning, you look in the mirror and you are Okay, so what we do see here is really a nice increase in skin luminosity. I am seeing real up close that her pores are already really looking uh, emptied out, you know, cleaner and all. And so, Jahira, I'm going to just ask you to take a look in the mirror. Oh, wow. And you might want to feel your skin. Again, usually by about the age of 30, people almost feel like a little skin tightening. I don't know no, that you... No, I felt it slightly on my cheek area. I did feel some tightening. Um, but no, that's really soft. Wonderful. Really now, soft. very importantly, please remember that this is meant to be done in a series. So although we do see some improvement mm -hmm. this time, what I'm going to recommend to everyone listening is that you have your patient return. Uh, ideally, in one week, we'd like to do a series of six mm -hmm. of these. 
also remember that we discussed how this is going to help the penetration of your at-home products. A simple thing to do, and we actually do have Jahira on this, is to uh, dispense then this, in this case, because her main complaint is some mild uh, breakouts, our acne one regimen, the salicylic, the glycolic gel, the clarifying moisturizer. And we're giving you a small size of the pumpkin mask. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You. And to all of our estheticians and doctors watching, please be sure that you do have your patient make an appointment for the follow-up one to two weeks from now. Thank you.